If more information was the answer, we would all be billionaires with perfect apps. How many hours exactly do you have to spend learning new things, taking new courses, and reading books on the same topic over and over again before you decide it's enough? Hmm? Learning new things is a trap, not for everyone, but I will be bold enough to say that it's freaking almost everyone. <laughs> Research is the most subtle form of procrastination that ever existed. Because it looks productive, it seems productive, it feels like self-growth, so you don't really feel like you're doing anything wrong. But after some time of learning, if there is no practice after that, learning that thing was just pointless. Why would you want to know something if there is absolutely no use for you to know that? That's the question I would really like to ask our educational system. This could be a skill, self-help problem. This could be a relationships problem. This could be so many things, really. If you keep learning and learning and learning and don't ever try to do something, to do the thing you're learning about, it's freaking pointless, go do something else. Is it a good moment to move on to some tips? Yeah. First, do that. Just try it. Just start the project. Start typing, writing, filming YouTube videos, editing, photography, whatever it is. You will gain so much more experience from doing the damn photos than from learning about how to make good photos. It's as simple, it really is. Whatever the skill is, you have to get a real feeling of the skill of the thing, of the camera, of the guitar, of the piano, of the sketchbook. Having the real experience matters so much more than having the knowledge and having no idea how to actually do something. It can be that you spend hours on learning something new without actually pursuing the thing, without actually doing it. And then when you finally do it, it can turn out that you're not even into that thing, that you don't even like it. Then what's the point in learning it? When we do things, we understand them and we can become better and better at them. Only reading about something is not enough. Won't give you the understanding of the subject. Understandment is the word. Won't give you the understanding of the subject. If you're into self-help books or non-fiction books in general, hi, me too. There is a big trap there of reading the same concepts over and over again because it's easier than actually doing something or actually changing something. You know how many books on productivity I've read without doing a single thing about the projects I really cared about? A ton of books! I watched a ton of YouTube videos and I read so many blog posts about it where in reality it was all about just starting doing the goddamn thing. If you're reading a book, after you finish the book, look throughout your notes, things you underlined. I hope you do that because that's the only reasonable way of reading non-fiction books, so I hope you're doing that. Take three ideas from the book you have read from your notes and stuff and implement those ideas into your life throughout the next 30 days. When it comes to taking courses or basically learning from, I don't know, videos on the internet and stuff like that, for every hour you spend learning something or researching something, spend two hours actually doing it. So these are a few ideas you can implement and I hope you do because if more information was the answer, we'd all be billionaires with perfect apps. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did not come up with that. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you more than I love coffee. And life is your story. So stop procrastinating and make it a good one. Bye, guys.